Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Woodland Realm campaign, where soft music plays while we ponder the nature of our next move. King Legolas the Defender <laughs> has been defending Eolstone, so now it's ours. I think that's how that works. And before him stands a rather large Snowhawk army. Well, it's at least partially large. At least some of the troops are a bit damaged to though, so it's probably not up to full strength. And somewhere over here lies Gundabad. And we are in a very tempting situation because depending on what we do, we might go full hog toward the capital. I think we can do a draw out. You know, Legolas by attacking Captain Zugthak would be able to draw out those troops and then we can vacate Gundabad for good. That's one version of events. And the upside of that is that we weaken the Snowhawks even further. There might be Hakthrak over here, but maybe he'll just be thrown into disarray. Who knows? Maybe he will go for Yorlstone, and in that case, Beriadon will die. Maybe instantly, because they do have siege equipment. And lots of it. So, we're not really in a great position to defend the Allstone unless we take out Hachthrak first, but if we do, there's a risk that we won't be able to draw out Gundabad in the same way. But should we play it safe? Maybe we should just play it safe for once. This is a bit foreign territory to me as, the, as Captain Turtle Waffle, but I think I'm going to play it safe and we're going to deal with Hachthrak first. Hachthrak, you have 2,158 soldiers, and they are all going to fall. Um, not too many depleted battalions here. So initially, we will have to deal with their siege equipment while keeping away their archers. Dealing with their siege equipment will come fall to our cavalry, of course, and uh, our cavalry won't be happy to be shot at by uh, these, you know, six missile attack black shield archers. So, you know, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a battle that could pro pose problems, but we're going to take it on anyway. Now, if we were the most powerful melee faction in the world, we would probably just do best by running straight at them as fast as we possibly could to try and nullify their archers and their siege, which are probably the most dangerous things on the field. But... Our problem is that we don't have that luxury. We are a ranged faction. I mean, there's only like two units in our army that don't have an ammunition bar. That tells you something, doesn't it? Anyhow, we need to play our cards well. And I think our cards are best played from this hill over here. So this is where we're going to set up shop, as it were. So we have a row of scouts. We have a row of better archers. We have some Hin Adawar. And we have our cavalry. And then we have uh, this, which is going to pass for a melee detachment. Essentially, they're just there to keep our archers from coming into too much melee for uh, fi fighting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. And now we're going to take up positions on this hill. Um, dum da da 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 dum. So um, we are going to send our archers as the f first line of archers, so to speak. We're going to have melee troops in front of them, and we're going to have heavy archers behind them. I think that's going to be nice. And then we can set up our Hinadaur over here. And our cavalry will sort of um, go around the flank. Execute the plan of engagement, my friends. Okay, the Black Shield archers are moving forth immediately. Which means we should shoot them. Okay, 
All archers are doing their thing. Cavalry, you're sort of... Yeah, you're on the right side of the field. Good. So, over there, let's dare clear of their archers as far as possible. We have given them a little bit to think about. Hachina Daur have done a good job. And Snork Scouts are coming in. They will be eviscerated by our... Well, our scout, really. And who shall the Hinadawa fire upon next? I think we should go with some raiders over there. Maybe some black shield warriors. Those kind of people. We should even uh, stun them a little bit. Then get our cavalry in to take a look at their siege. Okay, our wardens are beginning to throw the gauntlet down. Okay, Ballister incoming, catapult incoming, and of course we've made, I mean, our position is slightly not good. <laughs> Ever so slightly not good, because it means that they have a harder time missing us, but somehow yeah, uh, yeah, as you see, yeah. They can hit us and you can, they can aim for around here and everything will be fine. But at least we can sort of send in our cavalry to really just wreck their um, siege equipment. Nice. Oh dear, Walk Marauders coming in. Okay, Wardens, we're going to need you. So you're going to go over there. Hina Dower, come back here. And their cavalry is steaming ahead against ours. Okay. Right. Uh, horse archers, let's get you out of there. Let's get you out of there. Uh, you haven't yet completed your charge. Which is slightly annoying, but there you go. Alright, alright, alright. Well, one Bowser crew is pretty much nil, so that's good. Um, spearmen, Snork Spears, yeah, you can handle those. Um, Black Shield Warriors, keep shooting them. Keep shooting them, keep shooting them. Hinadawa, how are you doing? Doing okay. Raiders coming ar along, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's going to hurt the Wardens a little bit, but it's not going to be too bad, I think. I think we'll be okay. And, um... How about over here? How are we doing? Horse Archer's doing okay. Arthurakon. Come in and help. Because these Woodland Horse Archers are going to need some help. Um, yep. That's pretty bad. Those are some pretty steep losses. But I will be. I mean, we will be. We will be okay. We'll be okay. Hina Dawa would go for those spears over there. And then we have some. What do we have? Warband over there. Okay. You know, we want the Hina Dawa on the right hand side of the field. So let's get him out of there. Uh, yeah. And the Marauders are doing a little bit better than we want them to. Hmm. Sort of par for the course, I suppose. They can be good against cavalry, that's the thing. Direct your fire. Okay, how are we doing up here? Our horse archers are fighting back against the marauders and they're not liking it. So that's really good. We have taken all of their siege out of the game for now, which is also really nice. Um, okay. Now we need to get our folks out of there again. Arthetacon, get over there. Start shooting once you're there. Um, Hinadawa. Oh, shoot those bastards over there.
Oh, we're starting to see some comprehensive routing. Okay. Charge down the artillery over there. Just charging into everything. Woodland warriors. What? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> that's interesting. What's happening? What? What? What caused you? Ah, you're chasing the warriors, like I told you. Of course. Snork spears. You'll be okay. Um. Yeah, wardens. Let's get you in on those spears. It's gonna be good. Britney spears. No, it's no orc spears. There's a difference. I swear it. You guys are pursuing the snow spears. Very good. Oh, 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 oh. Wogs being a bit too friendly with our precious, precious Hinadaur. Hinadaur. Um, so we'll need to do something about that. Ah, fortunately, they're not too quick. Oh dear. Uh, they do catch up, but they're not going to do as much damage as they could have. Now that they've been rudely interrupted by uh, our dear spearmen. And, um... Yeah, here you're just massacring some Snorlax spears. Very good. Come on. Legolas. Go into battle with those guys. Uh, we'll just. Uh, this is the time. Now we have them. Run down everyone you can. Run down every orc and every goblin, every man. All right, yeah, we've we've had some losses, but it's not too bad. Anything else remaining? Not too much. Go for the Black Shield Warriors. They are gonna need a beating. Snog Raiders over there. We don't want them leaving. And what is here in the trees? Oh, a lowly raider. You can get him. Nice orc if you can get him. And if you get him, won't you tell me how? Good, good, good. So, Warden's healing, Horse Archer's healing, Scouts, Spearmen, Elven King's Bowguard healing a little bit too. Hinadour, no. But they do get experience, so hooray! Okay, we'll, we'll ease our losses, it's okay. It's okay, we can still do a lot of good with this army. Decisions, decisions from military missions. Do we want more cash or do we want fewer enemies? You know what, we can deal with the enemies. I am absolutely prepared to just let these guys go. But they're not prepared to take the <laughs> take them on. Aw. Okay. Oh, well. Ooh, we can still do a draw out, potentially. Ooh. 
I have to try. I have to try, people. Sugthak, my friend. And the rat like you bastard. Oh. Uh, this is not gonna go well for you. I can tell you that much. Okay. We are about to witness the fall of Gundabad. There is much good going on here in the battle for Gundabad. We have routed one enemy and the other one is about to fall. Ah. <sighs> I sort of cut through the battle a little bit just because the first bit wasn't that interesting although we did see some interesting jankiness around this little corner here the AI was not good at dealing with that but um, might be easier to deal with this little area you'd think but even so our horses are having a little bit of trouble hmm hello black shield archers how are you doing yeah we have Hina Dowers uh, poised to take out troops everywhere. It's going to be wonderful. Just look at how our archers are mauling theirs. They're not even pr probably getting they're not even getting to fire a single shot before they are completely nullified. Oh Gundabad, you are not long for this world if you, if you don't change your tactics a bit. Yeah, and it's not the better half. They're just running past us. What on earth are you expecting to do with dead soldiers? Ah, shoot the mountain guard. That's a good idea. They need a little bit of work to get uh, to get to fall over. Um. Oh, Black Shield Warband coming through. Come, 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 my friends. I have been waiting for you. We meet again at last. Oh, wonderful, 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 my friends. <laughs> Black Shield Warband. Killed. There you go. Hinadawa are doing their thing. What else do we have? A couple of Black Shield archers running, running around, confused and scared. You know, I think it's just time we uh, call off all... All barrages are called off and we just capture everything. That's all that needs to happen here. There we are. Nobody on fire at will anymore because I don't want you to shoot at anything. I just want you to run down every single enemy so that we can get Gundabad gone. That's a sentence. I think we caught the general. Now there's only one of his entourage left. There you go. Go say hello, will you? Yeah, Woodland Warriors, you can do it. I believe in you. Come on, my friends. Come on! Oh no, the cavalry is coming. They're going to snatch it from you. <laughs> 40 losses. Oh, what a successful battle this was. And Achinadawr gaining two experience points. Very, very nice and lovely. They also, I mean, they killed a lot. Really. The Woodland Scouts doing well. Horse Archers doing well. Elder King's Bogard getting experience. There is just nothing about this that's bad. Except for those uh, 17 elves here and two here that have died to our own arrows. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe a little bit that's bad, but it's not too bad, you know? It's sort of uh, manageably bad. It's the kind of bad we can deal with. On to Gundabad. And this time we will not afford them the luxury of choice. We're just going to execute the bastards because we have... A date with ma the mayor of Gundabad. Something about asserting uh, authority. Are we just going to occupy it? I think we'll be okay with that. And then we'll keep the population, keep the income. 
And uh, can we train a spy? Oh, ah, insufficient funds for a spy. Come on, that cannot stand. That simply should not be a thing. So, yes, there is. Uh, if you can grant me 200 gold coins for map, I'd be so pleased. Lovely. Um, now, does that give us our spy? It blippin' does, and that is great. So, um, Gundabad has been crippled. We have taken out their largest army, we have taken out their largest settlement, and from here on out, our financial troubles will be, uh, well, if not a thing of the past, at least strongly, strongly mitigated. Hmm. What shall we build here? A master builder's hall, that seems like a good idea. Uh, is there anything we can sack? Well, I could get rid of the bastard maker, it's not like we use those things a heck of a lot. Uh, but, eh. I suppose we're okay. Most of those buildings are fine. It's not like they had a troll house or anything. Troll trainer, troll facility, troll, something troll. Okay, well. Turn 77 is over, and now comes turn 78. Can you feel it? I can feel it, and it feels good. Well, bugger my giddy aunt if Dolguldur isn't opposed to our little maneuver here. Captain Gash is coming at us with a lot of not very good troops, and Chieftain Zanul takes his help readily because he has not a lot of good troops. Well, he's got a lot of uh, not very good troops. And uh, out there is his Mazook, and he's not going to be of any help at all. So, the plan is, smack, gash, take the hill, turn and face Logarth. It's going to be good. So, quickly save, and let's get on with the show. Okie dokie dokie, we have a task today. There's an enemy right ahead of us, and we want their hill. Because the enemy coming up from over here will probably have us at a disadvantage if we don't take that hill. The only alternative is to claim this here and face off against both simultaneously. But I have a hunch that we might be able to take on the lesser of the two quite quickly, because there is no general involved, so their morale will collapse very quickly. And if we just make sure that our back line is sort of the heavier archer variety, then I, th you know, our small but determined crew of elves will have a lot of leverage in this melee. And we also have some decent melee troops with us here, as opposed to Legolas's army. Um, so, here they are, and we're just going to storm at them. We're going to move ahead. Some Dog of the Archers, some Maulers, a lot of Mirkwood Goblins. Hello Maulers, you're not going to like what I'm about to do to you. Okay, so where is the other enemy? They're over here. Yeah, they're just about to enter the field. But from then on, we actually don't have that much time. Okay, warriors, melee, melee, smash, smash. Hinodaro to get up there. Uh, you know, Sentinels, we also want you up there. And then let's just bring our heavy archers into the melee as well, on the flank. Cavalry, you're going to be behind. We're going to uh, do a little bit of sneaky charging. Looking good, looking good. We still have time, we still have time. The enemy over here is just uh, getting into formation. 
My three to one are just slaughtering everything in their path. Good, good, good. And maybe, I mean, maybe we even want to just take on their archers with our own. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. Not Achinadara, though. They're a little bit too costly. Um, so let's just set them up and save them for a rainy day. While our dear horse archers can help against the archers. Oh yes, perfect timing. Perfect timing, because now a cavalry charge is going to have real impact. Yes, good. Archers, get ready to rumble. Oh yes, the entire army is just collapsing. Some maulers over there. They need a little bit of a charge. You can see it on their faces. They just want it. They want it. The maulers are dying. Yes. Good. We have them. That army is basically gone. What is left of it? Nope. It's all gone. It's all gone. Right, and <laughs> a few wogs just to... Okay, time to set up our archers for round two. Where do we go? Um, actually... Considering that we're facing them in this direction... Yeah, we should probably set up shop over here. So, archers, come this way. Melee troops, this way. Heavy archers, going in the back. Hina Dower, uh, get yourselves over here. Horse archers, over here. We've lost mostly just uh, light infantry. That's pretty much the best case scenario for us because they are the most expendable troops in our entire roster. Okie dokie. Second army comes. Will it have more luck? <laughs> Will it bollocks? Okay, there's some maulers over there. That's a pretty good target for uh, Hina Daur. Once they get into... Uh, get a bit closer. Yeah, we want them a bit closer. A little bit closer. There we go. That's a good one, I think. We should be able to nullify them in a couple of volleys from that distance. Ooh, look at that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, then we have some Merkwood bodyguards over there. Okay, okay, so melee fighting has ensued. That's okay. Okay, a third volley on the maulers. Ow. Good. Alright, cavalry. Let's get you guys up and running. We don't want you caught. Ah, two Dolgodur hosts. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Alright, 
Their general seems to be keeping together their army morale pretty well. But if we just keep shooting him, then eventually he will die. And the morale of the enemy will just tank. It's a little misty around here, and with all those arrows on the ground, it can be a bit hard to distinguish what's really going on. The general only has six friends remaining. And they are not long for this world. In an hour, one more quick goblins, please. Okay, I think it's time for the archers to just start charging. Most of the enemy is completely destroyed. And the general is still fighting on. Against the Maita Ithawar, no less. Alright, he is uh, he's holding on for dear life. I can respect that. And he goes. What else do we have? A single straggler somewhere around here. Ah, a few hunters. Well, let's just bring him down, shall we? It's a nice debut for this army. Very nice. And we got our losses down to 9%, which is pretty good. I mean, we had a thousand troops. They had almost 4,000. We took care of all of them save a hundred from the smallest army and I mean looking at these tallies it's pretty impressive everybody gaining experience except for Gagathian himself but he has enough it's okay he can share <laughs> he can share all right then well chieftain Zunul oh he was the chieftain I didn't notice hmm okay well um, apparently I'm gonna ransom you, but you're not gonna take it, so you're just gonna let your faction air die. It's a bit, I mean, that's a, that's a little cold, isn't it? Now Logarth is ours. Take that, Dolgaldur. That'll give uh, Dorwinian one less thing to worry about. Um, Hornburg sieged. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ah, and our new spy here is pretty decent for a first recruit. Lovely. And now we can uh, upgrade some melee weapons for everybody. If we have the cash. Which, for now, we do. We're building the Master Builders Hall. We can even uh, put up the taxes a little bit. The old stone is still safe. Such as it were. Um, and at Framsburg, they have produced one extra group of orcs. Oh dear, how will we cope? The old stone is sufficiently elven to where I am considering sending away one of our spies. So, we're going to send Rumil to Mount Gundabad. Valdeglerion. Hmm. Yeah, you're sort of a... 
I've earmarked you for Flamsburg, but it's uh, a tough place to get into, apparently. Dane's Halls, slowly coming around. A truly impressive fortress it will be. And with these two conquests, we have no... Nothing, nothing sitting, waiting in queue for actually being finished. That's pretty nice. Tower of Eileen. Okay, we, okay, we, we're not really building new stuff here, but we could build a great art gallery when time comes. It'll boost the income slightly. Rakia got a hall of music. That's of course very nice. Hmm, what else could we want for a town? We could want some. Stables? Yeah, let's get some stables. Yeah, it's all pretty good. I'm a lank getting into the blacksmiths and, uh, ooh, getting an, a visit from Dolguldur. And the elves have arrived at Achno Ion, which is facing a little bit of Dolguldur pressure. Oh, it would be nice if we could sort of bring them in. And we can. Okay. I mean, this is an occasion, isn't it? Ooh, Farun mercenaries on the field. Fascinating. And we get Glenadad in there. You know what? We're going to take this up, this one. Stand beside us, Lothlorien. We have glorious future awaiting us. Okay then, here we go. We're just gonna leave our town walls and see what everybody does. We're gonna tell our friends to go aggressive, I guess. So they have, ooh, Gurthinen, and they have Lorien Archers, Lorien Wardens, and they have some cavalry, and they have a Ballister crew. So, uh, an interesting little, uh, well-balanced army of the light of of the light of variety. Yes, of the light of variety. Um, I wonder what this enemy is about to do. They seem to be going for the town, but only time will tell. Oh, hello. Yeah, that army is not really, uh, it's not really up to much. Let's just cut them off. We've got the, we've got the speed to do it. We might as well. Woodland warriors go straight in on the goblins. Spearmen, straight in on the archers. Wardens, come this way. Shoot the maulers for a little bit. Oh, hello, hunters. No, oh, he's trying to get away from us, apparently. What's going on? You're just running away. You're running and you're running and you're running away. You're running and you're running. And you're running away. But you can't run away from yourself. And you can't run away from the elves either. Not to do too much equivocating between those two substances, because you are not elves. But that's also why you can't run away from us, so there's that. Okay, so. Our enemies are all converging on trying to beat out Lothlorien, it seems. No, the ones we have are trying to go there, and the ones that are not around us are trying to get to us, apparently. Because interesting tactic there, Dolgodo. Very interesting. Uh, are you being shot at without doing anything about it? Of course you are. Oh, 
Alright, there's some orc hunters coming there. We want to take care of those. Ah, here come the Maldus. Hello. Oh, now our enemy sees sense and actually tries to attack the person that is coming up right behind them. Shooting all the maulers. Hunting all the hunters. Forty-six percent of all enemies gone. Hello, scouts. Come this way. Hello, scouts. What do you say? We just uh. Oh yeah, charge those. Yeah, good charge there, Lorian. Very good. I love to see it. I love to see it. Let's charge the fighters in the back. End them. Yes. What else do we have? Oh yes, we need to do something about those. And they all run away. Oh no, 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 no. Don't shoot your banister against my troops, Lorian. That is a bad, bad choice. Bad, Lorian. Bad. I think we can let those go. Well, thank you, Glenadad, for carrying the brunt of the enemy's anger. That's nice. Tawar. Dominating the field. A lovely unit indeed. And the Dullards have been captured. And they accept the ransom this time. Maybe out of guilty conscience for letting the l leader of the realm die. That's not really uh, something you... I mean, I get, it can't be high on the list of uh, accomplishments for those dollars. Just letting the prince of the realm, well, or the heir to the throne or whatever, just die. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Ah, uh, okay. Testura, soon becoming a town. And Runen, got a bit of ways to go, but uh, yeah, we can get in there. Slowly but surely. Do we need to take out Gundabad? No, it is not on our hit list. But we're doing it anyway because they just looked at us funny. <laughs> okay. Mm, maybe we should send some troops back toward Illstone. Because they can actually be free over there. And we can retrain them over there. So that's quite nice. Um, can we have more? No. Two plus two from our special buildings. And that is it. Unless this great dance guild does anything. No, not that at least. Okay. Goody. Well, it saves us a bit of cash and uh, makes Eolstone more secure. Win win. We also deposit melee troops. But we'll get them over here quite soon, anyway. So. These guys can go to Rakiaburg. They won't be retrainable there or anything, but at least they can be a deterrent against Framsburg and any invasion they might want to conduct. Or we could start sending troops toward Dane's Halls and from there we can send, oh yes, actually a lot of troops next turn toward Burtakul. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Dane's Halls will also be a slightly more elven place by next turn. Perhaps enough to um, 
not mind being left alone too much? Yeah, I think it's pretty likely. Goody goody. So it shall be. Oh, we've got lovely troops for training here once we get the prerequisite pre 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 cash. Sorry. Apparently, I need to do some more tongue twisters today. And we need to train all these elves. Haha. <laughs> and ants. Elves and ants. And elves and ants. And a thou, how are you? Also, growing as fast as possible under the stewardship of Utiradian. Cool. I am good with all of this. And if Amalank gets attacked, then we will just laugh in Entish. That's essentially what's going to happen. Um, train some more troops when possible. Do we have some uh, diplomatic action to do? Dantalad, how are you feeling? Oh, now they want a ceasefire. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take your ceasefire. I'm going to take it for... 10,000 of your reasonable wealth. And trade rights, yes, it's very generous. So... 5,000 siphoned off your coffers, what do you say? Oh, very good. Goody, goody, goody. Um... Valpambarian goes into town. And Logarth needs a bit more population growth, I think. So we shall give them that. And then eventually after that, we'll sort of get into the barracks and the things. Yeah. Solid plan, I say. Solid plan. And even with all the cash we freed up there, of course, <laughs> this is a bloody expensive recruitment list, but it's going to be good. Once they're there, that is an army worth having, I tell you. All right. Time for another turn. All right. I mean, I know you won't believe this, but the Dollards have made a strategic error. <laughs> right after they agreed to a costly peace settlement, they have attacked us with a pitiful army that can hope to <laughs> overcome our defenses. I mean, they're basically asking for diplomatic humiliation at this point. Truly, I have no words for the stupidity of these people. It's more like, what lies are you bringing me? Come on, you're not acting rationally. We have no complaints with this plan. Okay, well, let's make the peace settlement even costlier for you. This, this is... This is incredible. This is incredible. Oh, more Ents. Yes, please. Okay, mission failed. Ah, we failed to take Framsburg. Yeah, sorry, I'd failed to take Framsburg, but we leapfrogged Framsburg straight into Gundabad. So, shut it, council. I'm right, that's it. <laughs> okay, um, how are we doing over here? Uh, Rakiaburg needs a bit of aid, perhaps? I mean, even... It's not too bad, if you look at this. Unless they have friends. But they don't have friends. Okay. One wonders what exactly they intend to do. Except stew in their own juices. But of course, we could just send in some cavalry and that would be a massive help. So. With nothing to lose, we're going to do that, for sure. Um, and they have total defense of 10, which is amazing for that cavalry unit. <laughs> hooray, hooray. And Eolstone, 5% population growth. I am happy to see it grow. Um, yeah, communal farming, please. Let's get up to 5.5. Um, 
Thrandall's Halls gets fairgrounds. Great markets will follow. Erin Dolan. Let's get the baths. Let's get a blacksmith. Let's get a leather worker. Beautiful. Alright then. Ah yes, a marriage. Very good. Valpenbarion, it is good to see you getting hitched. And Shagur just stands there, not understanding the orders of his superiors to stand down from a siege that he felt he was clearly winning. I mean, by any reasonable metric. Surely. <laughs> Surely not. So, um, Rakia book, you're gonna rise up against that book and it's gonna be glorious. So here we stand. We start the battle, we move out. Um, I'm sort of tempted to keep the sentinels in there. We can keep the Tavar over here. Um, or maybe over here. And then woodland horse archers just come this way. Speed it up if you please. And these are some pretty good horse archers. Two ex no three extra damage from experience and upgrades, and then we have two extra armor as well. And we have an enemy that insists fighting uphill battles. <laughs> Ah, oh, Gunda Bad. I mean, you don't have that name for nothing, do you? Gunda Bad goes to Gunda Terrible. Your actions are not in your own interest. Yeah, shoot the Snowhawk Scouts, that's a perfect target. Okay, get out of there so you don't get shot. Yeah, well done. And they just retreat back into their little cave. Give them hell, my friends. Give them hell, give them hell, give them every arrow you got. It'll do them much good. Let's get out of there. <laughs> They're just running back saying, They're attacking us! I mean, if they, if they don't want to win, we can just... Yeah, we can... Okay, they just want to draw this out, apparently. Strange people. They just don't want to come at us. For whatever reason. But that's okay. We can deal with it. Forward we go. To shoot every orc we know. Hello, Black Shield Warriors. You're going to be so pleased with uh, with what I'm about to do to you. The Snow Orc Scouts. Just standing still waiting to be murdered, apparently. And in the meantime... 
all arrows trained on the warriors, please. Wardens, you'll get in on the action soon enough if there's anything left for you to do, of course. Oh, that's a nasty hit there. Goodbye. All right then, Sentinels. Take a slice out of that orcish pie. So we're just going to shoot them until they cry, apparently. Because we have the ammunition. I have the tea. And eventually, they'll be weakened enough to where we can just charge them with cavalry and life is good. Oh, okay, they realized that they were being had. <laughs> come, Snow Orc Scouts. Come, 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 come. Okay. Time to stop shooting, time to start smashing. And there he goes. Quality work, everybody. We lost almost no one at all. Yay, we healed the Sentinel, and the Horse Archer will be... <sighs> we'll manage. We'll manage with them. It's okay. Good work, everybody. So what will they do with these prisoners of war? Oh, they'll take the ransom. Aw. Oh, they have a heart. Okay, then. Um, so... Now, the, in the Stains Halls, and there is some Snow Orcs over here, presumably in heated combat with Dwarves. Oh my god, Balin is just going with a monster army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'll be able to assist at Vidabord, because they are about to be attacked, apparently. Okay, so... Meanwhile... We... Might just take a little trip to Artheon. Come this way. And let's go smash some Burtakul. And the cavalry will join you. Yes, they will. And it's going to be wonderful. You're retraining your scouts. Um... Here we're retraining everybody, at least for weapons, and then for numbers later on, because we're about to get sufficient numbers for the early tier troops in Gundabad. Amunlank, you're training all sorts of stuff. Dolgador is neutral for now. And I want to keep an eye on Mordor. Ha! Huh, and Skald is also going that way. That's fun. That's fun. Okay. Well, um... Minastion. Is there anything we might be able to do around these parts? I think, I mean, the Veilsmen are doing alright. We've sort of been keeping Dolgodur off their backs. We've kept the Snow Orcs busy. So, the Veilsmen must be doing quite fine. Yeah, we're doing quite fine, especially since we've took taken the battle to Dol Guldur in earnest. That's really good. Um, review, and even real, and we have... Ah, yes, Dunland. We need to talk to you guys. Um, well, since you're rich... A little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Yes, I know this, I know this. I love holding people to ransom, it's my favourite thing to do. I'm the king of Merkwood, goddammit. <laughs> Turn 80, here we go. 
Oh dear, Kazant has been taken by the Easterlings. Because of course they have. I suppose Darwinian have been quite stretched by fighting both Mordor and the Easterlings particularly, because those are both ascendant powers. Mm. New mission, take Frownsburg. They just don't want to give it up, do they? Ah, and the Snow Orcs have upgraded it now. It's a stronghold mm. rather than just a castle. Okay then. Hello, good. What, 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 what's your deal? What's uh, what's going on with you? What's, what's going on here? Some archers, some wargs. <laughs> Are you trying to just sneak through a old stone undetected? <laughs> it seems rather silly, but uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, birds are cool, here we come. We're just gonna ram it down to the ground. Dane's Halls, you have agents, don't you? Yes, you have one. But your culture is pretty much as we want it to be. We should probably send them in first, but it's only a level five, so. There's a decent chance that he wouldn't be able to make it anyhow. Mount Gundabad is doing fine. Any troops here that we want to send anywhere? Well, we could certainly do like this. And send these horse archers to Tower of Edin. Or Rakia Book. Or Dane's Halls. Actually, yeah, Dane's Halls. Dane's Halls it is. Um... All the culture come into Dane's Halls. Okay. Now. Our economy is booming once again. Let's get a blacksmith and Emun the Fuin. Oh, and a vineyard too. Actually, let's get the vineyard first. Hello, Shaguro. <laughs> you're just, you're just sitting there, seemingly completely confused about what's going on. Distorter, not quite upgradable yet, but we will get there. Now, could we build a tower around here? Yes, we can. And eventually, we'll take the brown lands. Uh, mm, hello, Dorgledur. Speaking of all that, um... What are you up to these days? Ah, uh, yes. A lovely elven spy. You know what, we also need a... We need a whole culture in here, so that we can build better buildings. Thor the Armory, okay. Practice range, Bladesmith Guild. Way station? The way station's nice. Minastion. Let's have a look at what's going on over here. Angmar holding the high pass. That is fascinating to me. And the Vale is not at war with them. Because they're focusing on taking back Meidelburg. But by the looks of things, they're going to have a lot of killing to do in order to take it. So it'll probably take a little while. Okay, Dunland is doing just fine, ticking along. We Apparently, Dolgudur has yet to attack us again. Strange times we live in. 
let's give him another chance at that, shall we? Apparently, when you ask for it, it comes. And this time, in some force. Oh dear, Agnazion will have to defend itself. Oh. And then they... <laughs> I thought those two armies were ganging up on Amun Lank. But apparently not. So now they have left the one army to die. Oh, and Logarth gets another general. Well, that is handy. That's really nice. Because it means that we can divert some troops and take Dornohach. What do you say, my friends? First, though, we might want to just uh, snipe Shiglur because... I mean, he seemed so aimless. It's like he's lost all purpose in life. And what is his purpose except to be demolished by wood elves? Really? I mean... I can think of no better purpose for a captain of his ilk. So we have a couple of battles to do before we go today. Birds are cool, but we'll finish there. Um, we'll start with a bird Sautis. Come here, Jaglur. I'm going to shake you up and shake you down. And today, the Tawar Arianur are getting in. They're getting first in line. Time to load up your bows, my friends. Like that. Yeah, I like it. Start shooting those babies. Babies being the arrows, not the not not these guys. I'm, I mean. I, I will go far to insult the dollards, as you know, but I will not call them babies. They are adults with responsibility for their bloody actions, and now they have to face that responsibility in the form of arrow fire. Pretty nice. We might even just, uh, you know, pull back a bit. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> just asking his troops to just... Come on! Run for it! And they said no. Or maybe he's asking us to actually shoot them. Maybe he is just that suicidal, like, come on, don't run away, just give it to me, here, now, come on. Arr. Well, now we're whittling down to the point where the Tawar Arianur can take over. And just do the melee thing. Boom. And then we can... Just circumvent them with our archers. And shoot them again, if any remain. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. So we can just charge them and they will be fine. Yep, indeed, that was fine. It was very fine indeed. And down they go. Oh, we lost two. Ah, but we gained experience. And with Dolgaldur out of Bursautis, I think it is fair to say we just need to build some towers around here. Knowledge is power. Especially if we're going to leave it behind with our forces. We'd like to sort of have a good overview of our land. So that we just, you know, we don't have shadows right up to a <laughs> an ill-defended castle. But for now, I've been... We will retain control of it, obviously. Um, just need to get some stuff done first. Arnold uh, Eon, um, what is it with these guys? Well, they have some Uruk Slayers and some Merkwood Uruks, okay. And that is fine if they attack us, of course. And Amon Lank, I guess it's a similar situation. We can just wait for them a bit. 
and concentrate on other matters, such as the Battle of Bursakul, which is about to begin. Strap in. There sits the king, Muzlog, and he's getting a quite a little, you know, a lot of defenders. A thousand of them, to be fair. Now he has some pale Urux, they're not too shabby. Best unit on the field, probably. Except, of course, for our lovely elves. And we have the Maya of the Wild, and we have three of them. And we have Elder Council. I mean, this is going to be a good battle, I can tell you. We have all we need to take on these bastards. So, my friends, time to end the show with one last battle. What you see before you is a cold, cold, stone cold fortress. And we're going to take it down. Particularly... We're gonna run in and we're gonna hack and slash and slash and hack and slash some more. Oh, they have towers. And they seem to be running out the gate. Right, right. That's a little perplexing, but fair enough. I'm just gonna run right into them. I mean, those towers are nasty, but they're not too nasty. They're the kind of nasty we can deal with, especially if they just want to come out. I mean, that's amazing. Alright. Do you have some Peril Urix in there? Oh, yeah, there they come. There they come. So let's target a pale Uruk. There we go. Rush in and bury your axes inside their skulls, my friends. Charge them! Let them feel your presence. And now it's time for archers to do their thing. Now we'll get you guys over there. You others, smashy, smashy, smash. Smashy, smash. It's a perfect angle for you guys to work with. Come on, get a bit closer to the wall. Don't get in the way of your friends. They might shoot you in the back, you know. I've seen them before. I know what they're capable of. And Elder Council, well, we'll just keep you on, on tap for later, okay? For now, though, I'm pretty happy just DPSing these guys out of the game with our lovely archers flanking them like this. There's just nothing they can do about it. Let's get our general a little bit closer. Ooh, what's this? Hey, Lurk's coming closer. And running back again. 
Either way, you'll be shot in the back. Aren't you happy? Yeah, it's going very well. I actually thought we would have to fight for every inch of ground in here, but no! <laughs> the enemy has just decided to let us have it. By running out of this. Silly, silly twerps. And what's left are mostly just defenders and what are these? Some snow scouts that aren't even doing anything. I mean, goody, goody, goody. Now the Pale Orcs are meshing with the Maerthoritoa and uh... I mean, that's not a comfortable situation for them. Let's speed it up to times three. I think we're getting to the point where our scouts can just retreat back. Maybe they should just grab hold of a ram for the sake of it. And our dear general can uh, make things happen. So, time to force ourselves through the gate. Woodland Wardens. Why don't you grab that ram? Oh, you don't have enough people. You don't have... En you don't have enough people to man the ram. Oh. Okay. Well, well. We'll get there. Come on! Indeed. We are coming. As quickly as we can. We just have some uh, minor issues to deal with. Yes! We will make it through that gate. They cannot hold us. I mean, look at this. This is the site of an absolute massacre. Yeah, a few of my 30 to out have died. And we lost the wooden uh, warriors. Yes, warriors. But, um... But there is just nothing they can do about what we're doing to them right now. Do they have a gate on that thing over here? Actually they don't, it's open. So we don't need the ram. Mountain Guard has entered the fray. And they are worthy adversaries. But they are just too damned outnumbered. They hack down with heavy axes. You that can, force your way through and make good things happen. Because we're losing some good troops to those mountain guards and I want every advantage we can get. And if you can cover for our generals so he doesn't get himself killed, that'll be, all, that'll be very nice too. Although, it does seem that our general is uh, safe. Where is the bugger?
Is he over here? Oh, there he is. Okay, I mean, he's doing just fine. Just fencing with some snow orcs and their butter knives. Yes. That's very doable. We can deal with that. And now the enemy has reached the stage of utter confusion. And there goes the general of the enemy forces. And the leader of their realm. We might just be seeing the end of Gundabad here. Unless uh, that fellow over by the dwarves can uh, take the throne for some reason. The sea of angry elves is just moving inexorably toward our foe and their final fall. We've lost a few of them either, either but losing a unit of those to gain a settlement like this? <laughs> it's an easy trade. It's an easy trade. We need to bring our troops a bit further forward. And so we will. Maitreitoar. Stand over there. Regain a little bit of stamina perhaps. Um... Is there anything left except for that scout unit? Nothing, it seems. They've managed to bug out into a formation that boggles my mind, but, um... I mean, that won't help them forever. So, we'll be okay. And now they're fighting to the death. Broken completely. And away they go. Ooh, okay. Decent experience gained by our melee troops. Good to see, good to see. Their sacrifices were certainly meaningful. So, Gundabad has had to relinquish Burthakul because we are just too cool for school. They have a lot of good stuff in here, so we're just going to occupy it, I think. We can bring in a little spy from Dane's Halls to help ease the transition to Elvenhood, Elvendom. Ooh, we can get Arathirith here, yes, of course. Because we can get them everywhere, right? Yeah, I think we can. It's the Hinadar that we might be struggling with regionally. We'll get there. And some of these fellas need to get into a retraining program. So these fellas can go to Dain's Halls. These 102 can go to this fort. And these guys can go to this fort. It all saves a bit of cash. And uh, it's not like we're having major threats in this area anyway. If anything, we might be able to help Yallstone from there. So that's nice. And they live on. Yakdush is not the leader, so maybe that's the fellow up there in the mountains. So, Gundabad, are you feeling Gunda good about all this? I'll see myself out. Once I have what I need from your lands. <laughs> Anathawa needs some buildings. Sture. 
needs a wall. Beautiful stuff. And then we'll see if Amon Lank gets attacked next uh, on the next end turn, as well as Achnorion. Or whether we should just simply go over here and say, Hello, would you like to depart with some of your reasonable wealth just to celebrate our capture of Birds Are Cool? I knew you would. Okay, uh, 7,500. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Okie dokie. Money machine go brrrr. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Um, this is very beautiful. So we'll just uh, hike around here for a little bit. I'm on Lang, we'll get more troops. Life will be lovely. Ooh, Woodland Spearman retraining in Achlon Eon. Very nice, very good. And that is basically it for today. So, be good to yourself. Be kind to others. The waffle will continue. And oh my goodness, I should also announce because <laughs> I'm a bit... Uh, why am I doing this at the end of the episode? I'll have to introduce it in, at the beginning of next episode too. But um, yeah, essentially the Total Waffle Doctor program is coming to you. Just like Gathrad is coming to us apparently. And what does this mean? This means that you, yes you, can send in a campaign that's a little sick, a little under the weather, a little less than fit for fight, and the total, the, you know, total Dr. Waffle, or Dr. Waffle, let's just say Dr. Waffle, um, will then make a uh, lovely, lovely little healing process happen before your very eyes and before the eyes of all on this channel. Of course, your submission will be anonymous unless you really want to make your name known, in which case stipulate that. Also, um, just stipulate what version of the game you're working with for now, which is dealing with the current version of DAC and the base game. But if enough requests come in, then I might also install other mods. But on that, time will have to tell. So for now, I simply hope that you've had a good time here. I will say, once again, be good to yourself, be kind to others, and I will definitely see you soon.